Hey lovelies, it's Susie Ashworth here. I just thought I would hop on really, really quickly. I have just been out for my regular morning walk and I'm about to head home. We have a street party today and I'm really hoping it's not going to rain. So please give me all the good vibes that the weather holds out so we can party hard this afternoon. So I was just walking along the beach feeling a huge, huge amount of appreciation and gratitude for all that is and all that is coming for me. And I really wanted to share what my thought process was with my mastermind group. And I so I I did I popped in live to share with them what was going on. But there was a part of me that was like, oh, it's Saturday morning and then, you know, and I'm thinking about work and I'm going to go on live. Is there something, <laughs> you know, is that normal? <laughs> and it really came to me that when you are, there are times when not switching off is a good thing. And I think that as solo entrepreneurs, we find it really, really difficult to switch off from our business. It's like we're always on. So that whole, it's Monday today, we don't get that because we are thinking about our business seven days a week, even if we're not actually kind of in our desks or in front of people. And we get told a lot that it is important for to have downtime and to completely switch off. And I think that there's something more than that. It's not about needing to switch off. I love my business and I love my clients and I want to engage with them as much as feels energetically supportive. And I think that when we are feeling energised by our clients and we can talk for hours and days and we want to work on new content because we want to get more stuff out there and it feels good and it's energizing us I feel like we should be leaning into that and I think that the downtime is important when we're feeling stuck or out of flow but rather than trying to switch everything off I think it's about changing up our environments and I think it's looking about the environment that we are in so looking at our personal office space and working out is where I'm sitting the most nourishing the most inspiring place for me to be sitting right now how can I make this environment better and then when especially when we're feeling stuck it's about breaking the pattern so it is about getting out going for a walk if you have a beach near you fantastic if you have the woods near you fantastic if it's about morning Tara even if it's just going into your garden but change the environment that you're in and use the spec particularly if you can get outside use that to reinvigorate re-inspire so yep yeah, turning down the volume on all of the information that's coming in is important sometimes sometimes you might want to listen to something that motivates you me you know I'm all about the music so I'm you know I'm listening to the songs that raise my frequency raise my energy and allow me to get back going again so that was it for me this morning short and sharp I just wanted to say switch it up change your environment around don't feel guilty if you are on it like a car bonnet with your work if it's energizing you it's good and if it's sucking the life out of you stop break the pattern get outside and use your environment to lift you and raise your frequencies once again so look i hope that is helpful let me know how you switch it up and I will see you for another live soon. Bye.